Hey guys, let's talk about lemmings. Uh, lemmings fall into two general categories. Uh, one category I would label as a white knight. I have talked to many of the greatest wedge supporters and I've learned from them because it's fascinating. This is more of a psychology marketing exercise than it is something that I feel passionate about anymore. I know eventually Wedge will commit a mistake. Maybe it is a using charity money to bid on a charity for a future charity that never happens. Eventually, people get caught. People get caught for lies. Puka Trade was the hottest commodity. The Manasaurus and Tolarian Community College were the two biggest supporters, and look where it is now. And that's where I told you where it would be. Puka Trade approached me before it approached any other YouTuber. I was one of, I was one of, if not the first YouTuber they promote they wanted to do their sponsorship because MTG Finance makes sense. I'm still being a I still am approached by these quote MTG Finance scams, if I put it lightly. And I turned them down because if it doesn't make sense to me, why should I recommend you to use it? If I don't use it, so Ryan, he, he wants proof. He watched the whole video with multiple screenshots showing proof that the mana source did recommend buying Creeping Tar Pit at $15. The mana source, right after the video, even says that it was really snarky. I talked about how Colonnade was the only mainland that people wanted, so I made a joke about Pit in the end. But he doesn't dispute that yes, an image on his video with a promotion from TCG Player and a link to buy Creeping Tar Pit existed at one time or another. So Ryan is, in my opinion, uh, even worse than the first type. There's two types of people who fall for scams. One type who is about white knights and social justice and all that good stuff. You know what I'm talking about. I recently talked to a Wedge fan, and there's many, many Wedge fans, and a lot of them get upset when I say general and vague things that apply to all of them, and they're like, oh, you specifically talked about me in my life, and that's what they want. They want a reaction. I like to play with my food, and they are really easy to get angry. They spew more hate and anger. Like... If somebody has cancer and is about ready to die, I think the least important thing for them to do is talk to a, quote, troll about the mana source for multiple hours. It does not seem like a great utility. Spend it with your family. Spend it, you know, doing what you, a bucket list. Uh, my bucket list is almost done. I just have to go to Egypt uh, in the December of this year, and then I'm done my bucket list. Yeah, but why would you spend it arguing about someone that you never talked to in protecting and you know, justice? I think one of the statements they always tell me, and again, this is a very vague statement, but all of the uh, social justice warriors wedge will be like, oh, he's talking about me, right? It's kind of like that South Park episode where you know, every reviewer or every person thinks that they're super important. Uh, Yelp reviewers thinks that they're super important, right? When in fact they're not. So they're, the first type of person will be really easy to anger and they will just dig themselves a hole and protect Wedge at any cost. And it's kind of fun. It's psychology. I took an intro to psych class in NYU and it's you know, it was a good class, really easy A. The easiest A I've ever taken in my life. But I use basic psychology against them to see their reaction. And I have uh, experiments. I have Excel spreadsheets. I began this after my adventures on my misadventures on 4chan, where people trolled the blank out of me after I did my report on the Chinese counterfeits on the Skype. And from that point on, I decided that I would play around with these lemmings. Now, the second type of lemming is a Ryan lemon. lemming. They can see the proof, but they just can't, for whatever reason, they can't process it. Uh, another good example of this was I posted a video about someone cheating. 
uh, an employee entering a tournament in his own store and then cheating on camera. And the person he cheated said that he absolutely did not cheat. And he got like a hundred likes or something like that on my video. On that video, which showed in great detail he cheated. And then the owner with that person, because the person was an employee, the owner of that store, Kinwin Games, then came out on a podcast to blast me. And their argument wasn't that he didn't cheat, although that was a sub-argument. The argument was, why was I so harsh on him and not harsh on another potential suspect? And it's like, what do you mean? You cheated, he cheated. What are you talking about? So then they put me on blast on this uh, podcast from the store that ran this tournament where the employee cheated at. And then later, uh, he joins Craig Westco, a very famous Magic player, by the way. And he gets Craig's team disqualified because he was caught cheating <laughs> a few months later. So, and then I made a follow-up video and the person he cheated all that time on camera said, nope, he didn't cheat. It's like, come on, dude, like, come on. You have to be trolling me. But as I found out, they're not trolling me. So this image, which comes directly from the Mana Source, and the Mana Source cannot make this up. I mean, look at it. It's got the Mana Source logo. It's, you think I would care enough to make an image like this? I probably do, but then they would call me out on it, right? Obviously, then somebody like, that's not the Mana Source. Look, this is an image. And this is the video. There's 480 dislikes. I disliked it. You can see the timestamp. You can see the date the video was made. You can see the title. I just find it fascinating that even with all this information, even seeing a video with all the information presented in an easily digestible bite, people like Ryan, the lemmings of the earth, still cannot make a logical jump and they still require more evidence and then you give them more evidence and then they want more evidence it's like no i think your mind's already made up even before you watch this video and he's like i'm no lover of the mana source when you begin your sentence by saying i'm no lover of the mana source you clearly are a lover of the mana source right <laughs> i mean i have talked to enough of these lemmings to know that that is one of the things that they say a lot. Uh, the same with the uh, dude who got really mad who is on sick leave and he works night shift. And it's just like, if you begin by saying, I'm not a fan of the mana source, but I'm going to like put, I'm going to call your employees. I'm going to jeopardize their jobs. I'm going to do bad things versus you. I'm going to stalk you. I'm going to come over to your house to shoot you. Well, I mean, would you do that for, like, anybody? Like, you're not a fan of the Man Source, but you're going to shoot me with a gun because I made a funny joke about him? <laughs> it's kind of like, I'm no lover of the Mana Source, but I need more proof. It's like, no, like, what are you talking about? Like, the Mana Source himself in a tweet does not deny this happened. I have to give him credit, though. Um, I thought he was the most delusional person, but clearly he's not delusional. Uh, clearly there are people who, um, I bet you there's people who look at this graph right now with the uh, creeping tar pit and they're like, oh, that's a great graph. Of course it's going to rebound in price. It'll be back to $22 in no time. I guarantee you there are people watching this video, the man of source lemmings, who look at this graph and think that this is a strong graph because the man of source told them. Yeah, I promise I'm not going to make too many more videos about this topic about Creeping Tar Pit, but I thought it was going to be white and black. The reason I'm making this video is I'm surprised that it's not white and black. Like when you make a financial prediction, you say, hey, buy this card for $15. Well, what happened a month later? Okay, it's $5. What happened three months later? Okay, what happened six months? By this time, you would have been hosed at any point after the video so why are you arguing this point like it's a number it went from 15 to 5 and yet the argument is now there's no evidence that the man of source said it was 15 but don't worry he's no lover
He's not clearly not biased. I don't know. A lot of the Mana Source fans watch my videos, and I notice because within the first uh, half second, half minute of the video being uploaded on a 10 minute video, there will be five or six dislikes on the video. And it's like, yeah, I know you didn't watch it. That's fine. I thought the Mana Source was the most delusional person in our community. And then I realized that, wait a second. Isn't it more delusional to donate someone $150,000 for a, quote, preventable um, back pain? I mean, look, I'll be, I'll be real with you guys. I worked really hard for everything I own. I, I grew up really poor. Really, really poor. Um, even poorer than the majority of my employees who are gas station cashiers. They live in trailer parks. Uh, we grew up in one bedroom apartment and we gave a pencil, a single pencil, as a birthday present. When I got invited to my first birthday party in, I believe, elementary school, uh, kindergarten, that's what we gave. But we worked our ass off. And I worked my ass off. So for someone who has never had a job before, like the man of source, like Wedge, I I do what want what's best for him. Like he's always tired and he's always sleeping. He's sick again, by the way, if you follow his Twitter, he's sick again. He's always sick and I think it would be healthier for him to go out and socialize, have a full time job, not stay at home all the time, not It's, in my opinion, it's your duty to become as strong as you can. And sometimes you can't. Sometimes there are things that prevent you, uh, circumstances that prevent you from one from becoming strong. But you can, but you can try to at least. And then it's your duty to give back uh, to the community, which he mentions all the time. Uh, when you take and you take and you take, I don't have any respect for people like that. And I know many people like that. When you're poor... People take advantage of you. They take advantage because you don't know better. Um, we held me at fifty dollars. We spent the first. We only had fifty dollars when we for, uh, my parents first moved to America, and they spent twenty five dollars on a old rusty pan because they didn't know, and that was their friend. I got one birthday present, but so that's the worst in humanity, right? The best in humanity is uh, we went to Boscov's for when I was four or five. And our presents got stolen. Uh, someone stole our presents. And the security guard, not even a manager of Brasco, just a random security guard, uh, went out and bought me the Batman Forever game, which was the most popular game at the time. A board game. The board game. With his own salary. That was probably his entire night of working there. He decided that he would rather do that. And it was a complete stranger. No idea who he is still. And that's why I do what I do. Um, I give back to my community. I live in one of the poorest places in America, but I give back, I give back, I give back. I teach an entrepreneur class. I teach, I help small businesses for free. I work with uh, Christian organizations, charities, uh, local radio stations. You need to get strong as you can. My philosophy in life is get as strong as you can. Hire people. Uh, there's nothing more important in my opinion than are more prideful than when you have employees. So when Wedge fans come after my employees from their social media, their Instagram, I think I've showed you, I can show you a bunch of that stuff. That's absolutely not acceptable. You can come after me all you want. And I know that's a very common phrase to say, but I have hardened scales. I mean, my scales are really, really hard. I don't know. I actually think the problem I have is not with Wedge himself now. I think it's with his followers. I think that's the problem I'm having now. And maybe I'll be a little easier on Wedge. But not his followers for sure. Not those lemmings. Bye guys.